Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kiwi's Collectibles. If you are new to my channel, my name is Pam, and I enjoy thrifting for home decor and items I can resell. I record my shopping trips using the camera on my phone, and I like to share it with you. Today we go to two Goodwill stores. We start out at the Goodwill at Highlands and end up at the Goodwill on Two Notch. Shop with me all the way to the end of the video to see what I purchase. I like to keep it as a surprise for you so you can guess what you think I might buy along the way. So grab your coffee or grab your tea and let's go shopping. These pumpkin salt and pepper shakers were new and in great condition. I thought that they would look great as a fall decor accent or on a tiered tray. I found some glass Coca-Cola bottles, but they don't look very old. And I loved this mug of the Colosseum in Rome. Look at those darling kitties. I found some trinkets, nothing too exciting. Then I saw Ziggy. This is a bisque trinket box and I love the characters on top. They are 3D. I found these two corn on the cob holders that were made in Taiwan. I don't think I like the brown color as much as I like the green or yellow colors, although these would be great for fall. Then I saw this vintage bunny with beautiful pink accents, but y'all, it had a broken ear. I loved this vintage wicker swag light. It had some condition issues and maybe it could be repurposed and $4.99 was a great price for this fun light. Now I'm at the Goodwill on Two Notch Road in Columbia and the first thing I see is this gorgeous Hawaiian statue of a hula dancer. I continue to see Hawaiian souvenirs being donated at this Goodwill. This piece is made of HEPA wood, which is not actually a wood, but a resin. It is definitely eye-catching though. These vintage refrigerator magnets of the different states might be worth a little money if all of the states are there. I just had to check out these cute resin Native American children figurines. They were darling, but a little too expensive for me. Look at the sweetest little music box. This piece is made by Ebeling and Roos from 1984. This is a nice marble paper towel holder. I could never get used to a freestanding paper towel holder like this because for me, it gets in the way. I like to have an under the cabinet mount. What about you? What do you prefer? Okay, this is gorgeous. Looks to be in great condition. And I love the Tanala vibe it has, but I'm not sure it's authentic. I love the green and the blue colors and the overall shape it has. At the back of the shelf, I found a Llama Mama and Baby piggy bank. This looks like a Target piece. I love the gold accents on the ears and especially those gorgeous eyelashes. This is a princess house piece. It is 24% lead crystal and it looks like a little birdhouse. 
It has a raised bird on the front of the house. It could be used to hold sweetener packets for your coffee or your tea. I love all of those details on that brass candle holder. Gorgeous. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the little bell and set it to all. That way you will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Plus, it helps my channel grow. I found some Temptations Bakeware. These three pieces are a great bargain, y'all, at just $6.95. You can use these pieces as serving bowls, or you could bake a delicious macaroni and cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I really like this set here. Here is a butter dish and the salt and pepper shaker set that goes with it. I love this sleek look. This was a great bowl. I love those gold swirls. It could be used for nuts or candy at a party. Unfortunately, there was some paint loss on the gold swirls. If you have a pug dog, you might love this little mug. It's cute, but doesn't need that $3.95 price tag. I would pay maybe $2 for it at Goodwill, but not four. This fox looks like a tea light. I bet it is so pretty when lit up in a dark room. This fish basket looks like it should hold a wine bottle. I don't know anything about vintage bottles but Goodwill must have this identified as something valuable. Ooh, the colors. The beautiful glaze on this handmade pottery pitcher is stunning. It is signed by the artist, and I like the rubber pads on the bottom to protect your surfaces. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Oh, and here is another pottery piece. I like the grays and blues on this pottery vase. It is a good size, too. And look at this fun chicken. It's originally from Hobby Lobby. This teapot is missing its lid. It's made by Home Classics and sold in stores like Kohl's, Walmart, Target, and online. I thought these ballerina pictures were lovely, but I didn't care for the light wood frames. This looks like a jewelry tree. Great to hang necklaces and bracelets, and it is from Target. I 
I found this unopened box of Hummel stationery. I already have a similar box of Humble Stationery that I cannot sell to anyone, so I'm leaving this one on the shelf for someone else. Check out this Santa face. I don't know if it is a music box or a nightlight or even is it a Christmas ornament. If you know anything about this Santa, please leave me a comment. In the very back of the shelf, I saw this cartoon. It says, Look, lady, the longer you take to give me your age, the older you're getting. Always check out the boxes. I found in this box six blue glass Homeco Daisy Sunflower Votive Candle Holders and five amber ones. I don't know their pattern and they would be so pretty on a wall sconce or on a tall candlestick. This mug must be in a set with that pug mug we saw earlier. It is also $3.95. Near the checkout counter, I found this dog figurine. Its leg was broken and had been repaired. I really like this tin. It was made by Midwest and I have seen a lot of Christmas ornaments made by that same company. We have a little shell treasure box here. Most likely it's a souvenir from Myrtle Beach. The first piece I would like to share with you is this gorgeous pottery pitcher. The rich color of the glaze is stunning and exactly what I have been looking for in my kitchen. I have it styled right now on our thrifted butcher block and this was an exciting find for me. Next I found another pottery piece. This pottery vase was in great condition and fits right in with my home decor. I love the shape and the light color of this vase. I collect Tanala, and although I don't believe this is a Tanala piece, I like the look of this face. And I am going to add this one to my current growing collection, and I think it is going to fit in beautifully. That is all that I have for you today, everyone. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoy this type of content, please leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and give me that big thumbs up. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.